start the meditation with thoughts of goodwill. Just tell yourself, may I be truly happy. May the people around me be truly happy, the people in my family, and then spreading out in all directions to all beings everywhere. Now think about what true happiness might be. It has to involve peace of mind. Just if the mind is agitated, if the mind is worked up, no matter how good things may be otherwise, you can't really be happy. So this is the essential ingredient. That's what we're meditating, is to find peace of mind. So how do you make your mind peaceful? Remind yourself that its well-being doesn't have to depend on things outside. Your true well-being has to depend on the qualities within the mind itself. So that's why we meditate. <coughs> that's going to be the focus of our attention for the rest of the hour. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And notice how that feels, because if you stay with the breath, you're staying with the part of the body that's closest to the mind. Without the breath, we wouldn't know about the body at all. And the breath can have a soothing effect on the mind as well, trying to breathe in a way that feels really good. The parts of the body that are tense try to breathe in a way that's relaxing and soothing. If the parts that feel weak try to breathe in a way that feels more energizing. Because well-being isn't just relaxation, there also has to be energy, but not nervous energy, the energy that comes when things are solid, fit together, nourish one another. So think of the whole body being nourished by the breath. And remember, the breath isn't just the air coming in and out of the lungs, it's the feeling of energy flowing in the body flowing from one part of the body to another, or flowing into every cell and then out from every cell. There are lots of different ways you can think about the breath energy in the body. So think of every cell as being nourished each time you breathe in. If there's any tension or tightness in the body, think of it relaxing as you breathe out so you're not holding on to it. And notice where the feeling of the breath is clearest. It might be around the nose, it might be in the chest, the rise and fall of the stomach, the rise and fall of your shoulders, the rib cage expanding and contracting. Lots of different places where you can feel the breath. Then there are centers of breath energy in the body. It's like you have breath channels like a system of roads, and there are some spots that are the intersections. Some of the main intersections are the middle of the forehead, right at the roof of the mouth, the base of the throat, the middle of the chest, or right at the abdomen, just above the navel. You can choose any one of those spots and just stay with it for a while. I try to think of it as it being an open road with no blockades. So the energy flows in, flows out easily. If you choose a spot that seems difficult to stay focused on, we'll move around a bit until you find a spot that's just right. Let the mind settle down and rest for a while. It doesn't have to go anywhere, it doesn't have to do anything. You have no responsibilities right now. Anything that has to do with the past or the future, I let that go. The mind doesn't have to take on any burdens right now. Just be right here in the present moment. Be aware right here in the present moment. 
allow it to settle down. If any thoughts do go out, you don't have to straighten them out. You don't have to see how they end. Just as soon as you realize you've gone with a thought someplace else, just drop it and come back. You don't have to get involved. You don't have to wipe it out. You don't have to tie up the loose ends. Just let it go, and it'll dissolve away. And you find yourself back here at the breath. Try to make the breath consistent with no gaps in the energy, because usually it's in the gaps that the mind slips away. And once the mind has calmed down a bit, then you can start noticing how the breath energy feels in other parts of the body as well. You can start anywhere you like, but try to be systematic. Go up the body or then down the body, up the front, down the back, out the legs. Or going to go up the back, that's fine too. Just try to notice how the breathing feels in as many different parts of the body as you can survey. Find any spots of tension or tightness, just think of them dissolving away. So the breath flows easily all the way in, all the way out. You may notice as you go through different parts of the body that different parts need a different rhythm of breathing or a different texture, heaviness of breathing. So make adjustments for each part. Give each part what it seems to need. And then move on to the next and the next. After you've gone through the whole body, you may want to go through the whole body again. Because sometimes you'll pick up things on the second time or the third time that you didn't pick up on the first. You can keep this up as long as you like until you're ready to settle down again. And you may have found another spot that you actually prefer to the first spot. Well, go to that spot, whatever spot seems best. Let your awareness settle there, and then think of it spreading out from that spot to fill the whole body. And think of all the breath energy channels in the body connecting, so that when you breathe in, there's an immediate sense of refreshment from the breath to as much as the body as you can manage. And try to breathe in a way that feels soothing, it feels healing, it strengthens the weak parts, calms down the ragged edges. And if the breath feels really good, you get a sense that you really don't want to go anywhere else. You like being right here. It's like coming home. You have a sense that this is where you belong. And so try to maintain that. And the problem is that after feeling refreshed like this for a while, you say, okay, I'm ready to go someplace else. And remind yourself, there are deeper levels of pleasure that you, you won't experience unless you really stay here for a long period of time. Things begin to open up, open up, open up over time. So try to be patient. If you find yourself wondering, well, what shall I do next? Ask yourself, is there a way of breathing that can be even more comfortable? Parts of the body that are not getting any breath energy. Look for those. In other words, you have to work in that sense of well-being, otherwise the mind begins to slip off and get drowsy. So there's always more to observe right here. You just go deeper and deeper, and you get more and more sensitive to what's going on. You get a deep sense of peace. And you'll be surprised how deep it can go. And the Buddha said that there's a happiness. It doesn't depend on conditions. It's not affected by aging, illness, or death. He wasn't kidding. He'd found something really special. And it's something that's really special within each of us.
So it's worth the time and it's worth the effort that goes into settling down and being really observant right here. Because you find all sorts of things you never expected to see. <laughs>